I'm going to do some random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. I like to do this exercise because it trains my mind to see patterns in a drawn hand, at least a direction. Of course, when you're playing a game, you've got to stay flexible, but it's nice to have a waypoint. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. I have a wind of the round indicator here. We're going to do four random pulls. One for each wind of the round. East round. Let's just roll the dice to randomize which seat we're in. I rolled an eight, so let's just say we're in seat four. So we're in C4, which is non-dealer, east round. That means we're gonna get 13 tiles. I think for these tiles, what I would do is discard these first. Maybe even the one that would leave us with all simples. All simples is two points. Now we would need six more points. We could stay concealed for two. So that's four. We could do concealed pungs for additional scores. So I think what I would try to do is all simples concealed pair up for concealed pungs. That would be one way to play this. If we draw twos and threes in the cracks and dots, we could even do a mixed triple chow and still be in all simples. I think that's what I would play here. All simples concealed. Either try to pair up and do concealed pungs or mixed triple chow. If you see other opportunities in here, write them in the comment section below. This is East Pull, and we are in North Seat. So we would get no honors if we get rid of these wins. That's another, that's another point, no honors. All simples concealed, no honors. So I would throw this away and these. Now we're going to south round. This time, let's say we are in east seat. I think I would do the same thing. Throw the south and the ones, play all simples. Three, four, five, three, four, five, five. If we can get a three crack or a four crack, we could play mix, triple, chow, and all simples. Mix, triple, chow. is eight points. All simples is two points. No honors would be one point. That would be a nice way to go, I think. One, two, three, we need another chow in here somewhere. We got a pair, so we would need to get another chow with the seven or the six. So we have one, two, three, four blocks, including the pair. So we would need to get a chow for the seven 
or the six. But we'd need to focus on getting the three, four crack for a mixed triple chow. Mixed triple chow, all simples. I think that's what I would try here. If you would do something different, write South Pole and we are East Seat. Let's go to West Pole now. And this time, let's say we're in East Seat again. I rolled a nine. So that's East Seat. I think I would play half flush, seat, or not seat win, but wind of the round. That would be half flush is six points, seat wind is two. That would be eight points. We could pung here, chow here. One, two, three blocks. Obviously, we need to draw in more cracks or pair up here. So that's gonna take some work, but that's four discards to get to a half flush. Pung, chow, pung, pair up or chow in here. I think that's what I would do here. If you would do something different, write pull, west pull and what you would do. We do have all the fives, but just singles. Maybe discard these first keep these fives, see what happens, but I think I'd rather push a half flush. North pull. This time we're in north seat. I think I might try lesser honors and knitted tiles, maybe. We have two honors, one, four, seven. We have a nine. We have an eight, a three, six, five, seven. One, four, seven. No, one, four, seven. Two five eight three six nine or two five eight three six nine one two three four five six discards six discards for lesser honors and knitted tiles number thirty four so if we were to discard the six dot maybe keep all the cracks as a fallback for half flush throw away the six dot and the three bam if lesser honors and knitted tiles comes in go with that if we draw cracks discard the offsuit tiles and go for half flush concealed i'm kind of wondering if half flush concealed is a go-to i'm gonna have to test that theory out really Concealed can be applied to anything. Well, almost. There are some melded combinations on here, which means you can't be concealed if you have melds. But concealed hand is two points. If you stay concealed, that's a good way to get two points. And if you self-pick, that would be fully concealed, and that's four points. 
half flush, fully concealed. If you have number tiles, there's a lot of flexibility there. I'm gonna try that out the next time I play solitaire. Look for my solitaire videos, because then I go into picking and discarding and practice decision making. These exercises really help. Give it a try if you have a set at home. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Mahjong competition rules. May all your picks be keepers.